A small fishing village surrounded by the sea and the wild nature, a town that seems frozen in time and is located on the Swedish west coast, only 100 kilometers away from Gothenburg. We are in Elos and it's right here between the typical wooden houses and the marina that from 1972 part of the history of the nautical world has been written. In fact, it is where the Halberasi shipyard, the main player of blue water cruising, is based. And for the first time, it has opened its door to the boat show. The boatyard is the perfect synthesis of two design philosophies, which at the end of the 60s challenged each other with the launching of various boats. On the one hand, there were the ideas of Harry Halberg, and on the other hand, the ones of the German Christoph Rassi, who moved to this part of Sweden to learn the art of Scandinavian ship rides. After seven years made of various uh, challenges, the Swedish entrepreneur decided it was time to turn the page and lower the sails. Rassi, who was now more popular, was searching for larger establishments, and so he decided to buy the Albert construction site in Ellos. We are in the heart of the Bocia to discover together with Jonas Zellerut what it takes to build the famous cruisers and how the modernity guides the projects without betraying the spirit of founding fathers. Here we are at the first phase of uh, the boat construction here in Ellis. So what we look at here behind me is an uh, empty hull which has uh, arrived from our uh, hull uh, factory in Kungsham. And this is how it looks like when we start building the boat here in Ellis. So the hull and deck is laminated together and uh, the keel is mounted. She will be in this dock from empty boat until uh, completely finished boat and the team will work in different phases. So it's uh, woodwork, electrical installation and final touch which is uh, curtains, doors and fabric. Welcome on board, we're inside. And uh, just next to me here you can see a typical Halberassi feature a proper deep bilge with a lead keel bolted onto the boat. Uh, we can also see the hull stiffener. It gives strength to the boat and the hull stiffener nowadays goes all the way up to deck level. And that together with the fact that the deck in, and hull is laminated together gives a lot of torsional uh, stiffness. Concerning the interior, let's find out how the boat here transforms rough wood into beautiful handworks. Welcome to the fully automatic varnish machine. So it starts over there with uh, flaps with both uh, a brush and a sandpaper. And after that, the varnish gets sprayed on here. Uh, and this piece is also fully automatic, so it only starts when something goes into the machine. Welcome to the carpenter shop. Uh, this is where we build and put together all the, the woodwork and modules, like saloon table, cockpit table, drawers, and like this example here, a uh, navigation table for, uh, I think it's a uh, 57. We prepare as much as we can outside of the boat, and, uh, but it cannot be bigger than we can fit it in the entrance to the boat or via skylight. Halborassi is well known to have fiddles and handhelds everywhere. Uh, and I think it's interesting to know that we do all those fiddles ourselves. And if we take, for example, this here, this is how it looks like. Uh, when it's done, but before the varnish. But interesting to know is that we actually cut out thin layers of solid wood like this, 
and we put them together, glue them and then bend them in a form like this. And once the glue is hardened and ready, we take it out, sand it and put varnish on it and mount it on board. What we look at is a deck form, or a, you can call it a deck mold, looking exactly like the boat itself. So what we do is that we take the teak, put it together, mount the caulking, and the teak deck itself is divided in two pieces. So once the deck is ready, it's lifted off the form and we actually carry it to the boat. And after that, it's vacuum glued on the boat itself. The good thing with a vacuum glued teak deck is that we need no screws. So it means you can use all the thickness out of the teak. You can sand it many times. Here we are on board uh, uh, Halberassi in the aft cabin, uh, European oak interior. The woodwork phase is actually finished. So this is how it looks like when the woodworker has left the boat and waiting for the electrical phase to start. The woodwork is 90% finished before the electrical phase start, meaning it's easy to pull and change cables also after delivery or after many years when you need to replace something. Now we're actually at the final stage before we launch the boat and start testing and starting everything up. We are in the hall where we uh, do the anti-fouling and also where we paint the uh, waterline. On all Halbrassi she comes standard with epoxy primer, two layers and two layers of anti-fouling. And this is actually sprayed on wet in wet. This is how the Halberassi were born. In this corner of Europe, the seafaring tradition and the challenging weather have forged the spirit. Reliable, practical and safe cruises that Awewe do not escape the present. And the credit goes to German Fress, who step by step has always been able to interpret the history of the shipyard by bringing more innovative solutions turning lazy cruises into fun boats to sail and also rewarding the owners with victories in some regattas.